Hey guys, what's up? Andre from Beefy Techie here. Um, here with another tutorial for all you guys who want to start streaming on Twitch using a Mac and want to stream your your at home consoles. Now I see this a lot on the Twitch Reddit that a lot of people want to start streaming on a Mac, but they don't know where to start. Well, pretty much here's where you will want to start. Um, first things first, you're going to need a capture device. Um, if you have a MacBook Pro with Retina Display or a current gen iMac that was made within 2013, 2000, or now, or early 2014, you're pretty much set. You have Thunderbolt. Well, basically, if you have a Mac that was made from 2012 onward, you have Thunderbolt on your machine. You have nothing to worry about. Basically, this is for you guys. Um, what you guys want to go out and get is a Blackmagic Intensity. I suggest this. I suggest this device only because you have Thunderbolt and it is pretty much your best option for streaming on a Mac. Yes, I know Elgato has the game capture, but you need software in order to use the Elgato on there, and it's not meant for streaming. It is meant to just capture stuff to record. So. We'll cover that in another video, but for now, this is for people who want to stream something completely live and just straightforward. So, um, you want to check out Amazon.com or even BHPhotoVideo.com. Do a search for Black Magic Intensity, and it'll give you the whole intensity line. I currently use the Intensity Pro, but I have a X expansion box that allows me to use internal PCIe cards on my MacBook Pro. The intensity shuttle you're gonna want to look for is the intensity shuttle with Thunderbolt which costs two twenty seven oh five. Now you go ahead and you get this particular device you're also going to want to pick up a mixer because um, there's no way for you to get the audio from your console into your game into your stream without using a mixer of some sort. Now, for mixers, you can pretty much get any mixer you like. You know, I, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and tell you not to to get one. I believe there is a Behringer mixer that you can get. It's like a one port mixer and like a 502, I believe. But you could go ahead, you could get that one, and you'll pre pretty much be set from for with that. Just get a Behringer mixer. You go get you some of the cables, which you know I'm pretty sure you can find tons of videos on how to do that. I'm pretty sure you can find that mixer, the 502, on either your Craig's local Craigslist or even eBay. Because I I bought mine's off it, my first mixer off of eBay for like thirty dollars, so you can get one of those and then you can just you know go I'll link another video that shows you how to set up all that stuff on a mixer, but either way you're gonna go ahead get that particular capture card and you're gonna be all set. So what you're gonna need to do is since I like using less CPU so that this way I have more CPU to do other things whenever I do my streams. Um, I use this program called Black Siphon. Now, as you can see, I have three capture cards here, like I said before. I use that. This is basically self-explanatory. You, you know, start it up. It's going to give you your intensity, sh Black Magic intensity card that you're using. If it's the shuttle, you just go ahead. Um, if you're streaming from an Xbox One, you want to set it to 720p so that this way you can capture it. It's 720p 5994. Remember, you cannot have the TV function work because once you start using the TV function on the Xbox One, it actually turns on HDCP. Every other console like PS4, you can turn off the HDCP manually. PS3, you will actually have to capture via component and the Nintendo Wii U, I believe it's HDMI, just just make sure you set it to 720p. Every console just set to 720p because this cannot capture 1080p 60, which is what these consoles um, display out at. Actually, it's 1080 5994. So, that 0 .06 really makes a difference. Either way, um, 
as you can see, I already started capturing my stuff in Black Siphon. What I'm going to do now is not open up Adium, but I'm going to open up Cam Twist, and I'm going to open up the studio. I'm going to create a new button, because this button has stuff from my previous um, tutorial. Click New Button, click Edit. What we're going to do is we're going to click the plus sign over here. We're going to click on Siphon, click Add, and then we can have a drop-down box and we can just pick Black Siphon. So now as you can see, whatever is going on on my console is now going on here. The reason why I like using this particular one, and you'll see the difference in the other video, is when I can go to, like I can basically go into the training stage and I can click a button, you'll basically see me click that button. Hold on. Yeah, I haven't bought this game yet, so don't don't be mad at me. What I'll do is I'll do this, and I'll make it full screen, and you'll basically see it one to one, which is the reason why I prefer this, so that this way, when you have a reaction to something that's going on in your game, the people are seeing it at the same time that you're seeing it, and you're saying stuff. So I can see here, I can just keep hitting jab, 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 and it's just one to one. It's the same that's on my television. So. That that's pretty much it. For people who want to use, if they already have an Elgato game capture or an Avermedia LGP, they can um, take a look at another video that we're gonna have in this tutorial, in the list of tutorials that I'm gonna be releasing today. But either way, um, that pretty much covers the video part. Now for the audio part, this is where things get a little bit strange reason why I said for you to get a mixer before is because audio hijack does not work in this method because for some weird reason when audio is being hijacked from the black magic it tends to buffer it so you don't want to do something like that what you want to do is you want to actually get a mixer and then from your from your intensities shuttle since you're that's the one I'm suggesting you actually have two ports that you can get out. If you just get the regular RCA cables and you just plug it into your mixer using those quarter inch jacks to RCA um, adapters into your mixer and then from the mixer go into your line in on your iMac or your MacBook Pro or your Mac Mini, all your audio is basically going to come in, you know, live kind of like this. So here it is. Know, your audio is perfect. So, so now whenever you hit those combos, you can hear everything. So, Monster! And plus you have complete control over how loud that audio is going to your stream. So be sure to invest in a mixer. Now, for the next thing is, you pretty much, is self-explanatory, to get this to your stream, you then want to go into Siphon, and like I said, being that we're using a mixer, we're going to change our audio source automatically to built-in input. That's the line in on your MacBook, or your iMac, or even your Mac Mini. Or if you do have a Mac Pro, then hey, if you have the newer Mac Pro, then it's your line in. Um, for your source, you're going to once again pick Cam Twist. That's if you want to do something fancy, you know, like if you wanted to, let, let's say, add your overlay, you know, to your image overlay, you go over here. And like I said, once you start messing around with this stuff, you can start seeing what each one of these things do. Set the size to 2. Going to open up a new finder. Go to Dropbox. And I think I'm going to use one of the ladies' overlays. In fact, I'll use. Mm, yeah, I'll, no, I won't use that one. I'll use. I'll use this one. Whenever the team comes over, we, we tend to like to let people know who's over here. So we hit the solve. And as you can see, that's what's going to be displayed there. It's also what's going to be displayed here. So. Now that we have that pretty much done, we have our built-in input, and if, and if I do I this, this, you can you basically, basically hear everything, everything that's, that's going, going on, on. So, so watch, watch this. this.
nothing, nothing about. Yeah, and it just paused only because the controller got unplugged. Um, <laughs> but as you guys can see, pretty much everything works perfectly, especially once you incorporate a mixer into it. You're, you're pretty much in full control over your stream. You go ahead, you click stream, and just like that, you're streaming. And that pretty much concludes my tutorial on streaming on a Mac for your console gaming needs. For your console gaming streaming needs. Ref per ah, I keep messing up words, but whatever. This is pretty much the guide for streaming a console on a Mac.